everyone. This is Gonzalo from Hands on English. And I wanted to share a little bit about ELT, about English language teaching. In this case, I wanted to share about the use of authentic material in the classroom. What is authentic material? Well, it's material that has not been graded or is not meant specifically to be used in the ELT classroom. But all the same, we can use it in the classroom. What is good about this kind of material, for instance, some brochures, maps, tour guides, uh, newspapers, and of course you have clips, uh, video clips on YouTube, or you have radio podcasts that you can use in the classroom. What is good about that? First of all, the language, uh, it's used in a real context with a real uh, purpose and um, so students can get to learn about that. It, and students can understand that they don't need to know every single word in order to get the meaning of a text, even if it's an audio text or if it's a visual text or if it's uh, something to read as a text, okay? So, um, because they can, you can give them the image and that's a visual text, okay, it's a text, something that you can understand, it has this idea of coherence and, co and cohesion, and uh, it's something that you can, it's this message to be understood there. So, as students can learn, for instance, using a map, or not a map of a theme park, students can learn how to give directions uh, of a place that they probably have never visited, but they can do it thanks to this they can they can give directions thanks to this map, okay? Uh, even if you don't have a friend of you, a friend of yours to to send it to you by by mail, you can download it from official websites, okay? And um, what about newspapers? Well, students can get to understand all the paralinguistic aspects of a text, okay? So they can get to know about uh, the layout of a text and the images in the text and the um, the fonts in the text, for instance, or uh, it, if they have a visitor guide, they can get to see um, what is important in a visitor guide, okay? You can get to know what they know about, what is their previous knowledge about, for instance, in this case, it's the city of Toronto. This is thanks to Winter International, they have, <laughs> when they get their examiners over for the international exams, they uh, they give us teachers some of these uh, um, tour guides and brochures and things like that, thanks to them. And, um, well, all this material really brings the whole world into the classroom, okay? Or even on websites such as beluga.org, there you can have lessons which are not meant to be specific for, uh, for English language students, but students can grasp the meaning and then they can share with other students what they understood, okay? And even they can give their opinions and their thoughts on the topic. So, authentic material is a really good source of a real use of English and students can, uh, somehow they feel uh, that they are outside the language but they can get into the language, they get closer to the language and they can enjoy and they can have fun and they can take a look at beautiful images and they can feel attracted by, by the layout of a text or a brochure or a map. So uh, let's try to use that. Let's try to use that into the classroom. Okay? I'm no expert on that. I'm just trying to share my experience with authentic material, though I have done some courses and studied about that. But um, I'm sure that you can have lots and lots of ways to include authentic material into the classroom and just break that uh, barrier when you say, oh, I don't understand, or when students say, I don't understand this, and you can help them understand it. And, and somehow we are facilitating them the language, real language, okay? Just wanted to share this. So, hugs from Hands on English. Be safe. <laughs>